Hi everyone, this is Tony from iPhone Builder. This lesson is meant to show you how to leverage the option list type segmented list reference ID that can be applied when you're using a, uh, a large segmented list. And what I mean by segmented list are um, you know lists that have a hierarchy to them. In the example I'm going to show, um, we're going to stick with the first letter of the well, the letters of the alphabet as our um, independent selection and then animal by species as our dependent selection. And so I've just gathered some data off the web here and put together a simple list. So we have our um, A through Z, so this high level option list here, and that's going to be our first field, which is letter. We then have a second drop down list, which is called animal by species. And when I show this list, you can see that we actually have applied some conditional logic um, to only show those specific species depending on the, the letter that's selected. And so if I show the advanced tab, you can see that we have about 350 different options. Um, so really not a lot, uh, but at the same time it's, um, you know, it's, en it's enough to make a difference uh, using this, this flag. So the first thing I'm going to show you is the performance without the flag. And where this flag goes is in this reference ID field. So I'll show you that in just a second. Um, <clears throat> Right now, I'm going to just put my device in main view, and um, so I'll back out and I'll create a new record. You can see it takes, you know, about a second or so to load that up. Not too bad. And the first letter I'll select is B. Um, and you can see while that select uh, button is glowing blue, I'm actually not touching anything. It's just that's how long it takes for it to um, actually process. So the second selection is pretty quick, and um, Changing selection, you know, does take a little bit of time, so switching from B to B, um, this isn't too bad, and uh, if we had much larger list, we would see the second selection be um, a little slower than what we're witnessing right now. I'll show you how. T transitions and all that looks pretty good. So you say, well, you know, maybe that's, um, you know, that's acceptable, and, you know, why do we need it to be any better? Well, can always be it can always be better and as the volume increases this is a very important flag um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to back out of here and uh, <clears throat> I'm going to go back into the form builder and in the form builder we're going to we're going to add this reference ID into the option list manager and so we want to put this on the list which has the conditional logic <clears throat> so it's option list type segmented list and you can find this information in our knowledge base as well what this does is it creates some database indexing in the option list itself, and that um, just speeds up the process using the database indexes. The um, you know the processor doesn't have to check every single value to make sure the condition is met. Um, <clears throat> so one thing to keep in mind when you're doing this is when you save this list and you're applying this flag, there's a couple steps that you have to follow, and the first step is. To apply this flag, once you're ready, everything's set up, and um, <clears throat> you're not going to be changing your form a whole lot. The next thing I have to do in order to make sure that this letter, um, you know, this letter list, if you will, is picked up on my next download, I just need to save this list. And all this is doing is just bumping up the version, since I already have a, uh, you know, a copy of this option list on my device. I need to make sure I'm going to get this new version with the database indexing. So right now, I've, all I've done is add this flag, and that changes the animal by species version. So I'm going to download that on the next sync. I'm also going to download the letter option list on my next sync, um, simply because I went in and saved. Now here's the key. Don't sync yet, because we need to do the indexing. The indexing is done by clicking on this edit button in the form properties. And then cl and simply clicking on save changes. Um, this one's not too bad, so you don't see the save bar um, sit there for too long. But if you have a um, a lot of lists or lists which are several thousand options, you know you may see that save bar sit there for about 15 or 20 seconds while it's indexing. Um, <clears throat> so since I've bumped up the version of both my lists, I've now performed this indexing on the lists. I'm going to go ahead and save my form, and I'll do a sync on my device. And so if you remember, we had, um, you know, we had a really quick load time and it wasn't too bad going into the form. You can see I'm downloading both lists. 
and um, the form changes as well. So now when I touch on segmented example, and um, actually let's do the same test, so I'll delete this record, go back out to the form view, touch on this, and so it's about the same time. Um, and when we click on letter, remember how this select button glowed blue for you know probably two or three seconds when I press it? It's pretty much instantaneous. And, uh, you'll notice that navigating through this is um, it just there's no delay at all. And um, I don't know if it's that apparent in the video, but when you're when you're actually trying to fill data out on the device, this is not, like night and day. Um, as I said, the more options that you're dealing with the bigger improvement you'll see when adding this flag in. So um, that's how you set it up. If you're going to ever change any of the content in your list, um, you know, remove lists or make form changes, you just need to remember the sequence that I went through. And so that if you're going to if you're going to add some more species to this list, it may impact the the independent list. So this actually is is where all the logic is maintained. When I pick B, it tells me where to jump to in this particular species list. Um, so if you follow the steps that I've outlined in terms of making sure to update the version of each of your lists anytime you would do new indexing, and then to do this edit and save before you have your user sync, you should be in good shape. And um, if you have any questions, please feel free to uh, send a request to, to the help desk. Um, but uh, we hope you enjoy this video and you find it useful. Thanks.